Hi, my name is Megan Dignan and I'm the Assistant Director of Student Activities here at Frostburg State University. Welcome to the Virtual Student Organization Fair. A selection of our student organizations have submitted videos to tell you a little bit about who they are, what they do, and how you can get involved on campus. You can use the timestamps in the description below to navigate directly to any of the student organizations in this video. All of these organizations, as well as many others, can also be found on Bobcat Connect, which is our student organization hub. We have over 100 organizations on campus that cover a wide variety of interests, but you can also start your own organization as well. The link to Bobcat Connect can be found in the description below, and you will need your FSU username and password to access it. If you have any questions about Bobcat Connect or how to get involved on campus, you can email me at mtdignan at frostburg.edu. I hope you enjoy the Student Organization Fair and welcome to Frostburg State University. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Mason and I am the president of the Black Student Alliance. BSA works hard to make sure that all of our students are educated on the culture and the history of the African American race. We host many different events to make sure that all of our students are able to come out and enjoy the college experience that they would love to enjoy. We work with the Center of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion to make sure that our campus stays diverse and to make sure that all of our students' needs are met. I can't wait to see you in the fall, and if you want to know more about BSA, be sure to look at our Twitter and our Instagram pages at BSA Frostburg, and feel free to DM us if you have any questions or concerns or want to be a part of our group. Thank you, and enjoy your time. See you in the fall. Hello, my name is Marie St. Louis. I am president of Colleges Against Cancer at Frostburg State University. And hi, I'm Maya Wallace and I'm vice president of Colleges Against Cancer. So I just wanna tell you a little bit about our organization. So our goal is to bring awareness, fundraising and support to cancer patients, survivors and the caregivers at our college and our surrounding area. So in the fall semester, we do some events like the Breast Cancer Walk down in Cumberland, Maryland. We also do a lot of tabling and lane, whether it's a trivia game or we're doing de-stress activities, but we're just trying to bring awareness to our student body. During the spring semester, we host activities such as yoga night and game night and activities dedicated to de-stressing our student and bettering their health as we all know that is very connected to cancer, getting cancer over time. We also host activities obviously as Relay for Hot Life, which is our big activity for spring semester. Yeah, so this year we weren't able to do a Relay for Life in person due to the COVID-19, but we did host a virtual relay and we raised over $10,000 and we are so grateful to all the support that we got. But next year we're looking to do it bigger and better in person, hopefully. Um, so we just looking for new members to help us on our journey. Um, so if you are interested in joining our organization, you can contact us um, on our Bobcat Connect page, Colleges Against Cancer, um, and we'll be sending out information about interest meetings for the fall semester. I'm so excited to see you guys when we get back. Thank you very much for watching our video and have a wonderful day. Camera on me. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Jamar Johnson, also known as Nino, and I'm the president of Creative Minds. Creative Minds is a music-based organization at Frostburg State, where we basically give a platform to all creative students, you know, ranging from music, photography, art, anything of the creative nature we support, and we hone that to the fullest. What's good? My name is Sammy Webb, or KG, and I'm the secretary of Creative Minds. What does Creative Minds mean to me? Creative Minds is a family I can look to, can really grow with, and build my artistry as an individual and as a person. I'm Sion, also known as Perp. I'm the Public Relations Officer for Creative Minds. And what Creative Minds means to me is a place uh, for students of all walks of life, all talents, to uh, showcase their skills, abilities, whether it's rapping, singing, art, photography, Anything, you know, a place is very accepted and open to, uh, you know, allow people to do what they do and 
show people their skills. So this past semester at Frostburg for Creative Minds has been a great one. We've had multiple collaborations with other organizations such as ASA, African Student Association, Zeta Phi Beta, and also Active Minds. Um, you can be looking forward to our wave check that we have coming up as well in the Echo Circle. We're also going to be selling food plates filled with fried chicken, ginger juice, which is a special lemonade, and macaroni and cheese, and also our Neon Glow Art Show to end the semester off on a high note. Hi, my name is Kayla Calvert, and I'm currently the Vice President of Creative Minds. Um, Creative Minds is a music-based organization. We want our students to be able to gain confidence, to express themselves, um, to grow as creatives, and also just to showcase their talents, whether that be music, painting, drawing, photography, sculpting, anything. Yo, what's up? I'm Sean Francis, and I'm the Social Media Coordinator for Creative Minds. And what Creative Minds means to me is that we're more than just a predominantly black organization. You know, we're diverse. And we just want to give people the chance, the opportunity to uh, showcase their skills, such as rapping, singing, dancing, poetry, uh, DJing, producing, and many more. Hi, my name is Brittany Lewis, and I'm a PR for Creative Minds. Um, to me, Creative Minds is a safe space for me to be myself. Ever since I've been a part of Creative Minds, I've definitely, like, stepped out of my comfort zone. They've pushed me to like do stuff that I won't normally do. And it's helped me with my time management skills and it's also like giving me a family here. What's up everybody? I'm Malik Curtley, also known as Money Mitch, and I'm the marketing director for Creative Minds. Uh, Creative Minds means to me um, the freedom of expression, um, being able to uh, be able to create with others, um, pick brains from others and learn how others think in a creative realm. Um, it's, it's also giving me like the opportunity to grow as a person. Um, just being able to step out my comfort zone a little bit and do things that I normally want to do. But overall, it helped like my personal life. So that's what Creative Minds mean to me. So we have a lot in store for Creative Minds for the next semester in fall 2019. If you're interested in being Creative Minds, you can follow us on Twitter at Creative Minds FSU without the E. We're also taking board applications at the moment, so feel free to sign up. If not, you can always be a part of our general body and come to any of our events. Hi, my name is Anita. I am a social work major and I'm in the middle of my senior year. I have been involved in CREW ever since I transferred here and I would definitely um, recommend checking it out. Uh, when, I came, when I first came to Frostburg, I didn't know anybody and Crew gave me a community of believers who encouraged me in my faith and um, who also challenged me in um, beginning to share Jesus with um, people who don't already know him. And I would definitely just recommend getting plugged in, um, whether you know Jesus and have a strong relationship um, with the Lord, or if you um, have questions or if you don't know God, like um, come check it out and um, learn and grow with us. Uh, my name is Jordan Beachy and I am a senior at Frostburg State and I am a double major in English and Spanish. Frostburg Crew has been at Frostburg for about eight years now and each week we get together for a time of prayer, reading the Bible and worship and afterwards we'll go to McDonald's or we'll go to a residence hall on campus to play games, to eat some food, um, to just be in community. We also have retreats, uh, one a semester, um, in the fall and in the spring, where we go to a cabin in Garrett County. Um, we'll spend some time playing games, eating a lot of good food, and just spending time in community. My name is Brady Flowers. I'm a wildlife fisheries major at Frostburg, and I've been a part of crew for four years now. And the biggest takeaway I've had from crew in my four years has been the fact that they make you feel like family, no matter what circumstances you come from, no matter if you've gone to church your whole life or not, that's the one club I've been in that's just completely surrounding for you and will help you grow as a person and even help you in classes. It's just family away from home. Hi Bobcats! First of all, welcome to Frostburg State University. If you're looking for an on-campus organization to join, I highly recommend joining the debate team.
My name is Jessica Thayer and I currently serve as the president. We hold weekly meetings and bi-weekly debates. Those debates will be judged by a panel of judges of your peers and it's just a fun way to interact and sort of have those hard conversations that you typically don't have the opportunity to have. Our debate topics can range anywhere from the legalization of marijuana to dogs versus cats. So it's a wide range of topics that really just gets us engaged in conversation and engaged with the world around us. If you're interested in learning more or you would like to join, please contact me at jthair0 at frostburg.edu. Go Bobcats! Hi everyone, my name is Amalia and I'm the Public Relations Officer for Fandom Society. My main job as PR is to run all of our social media pages as well as make posters and advertise any events or anything else that's going on in the club. And as part of the executive board, myself and all the other members are always working on coming up with new ideas on how to make our meetings fun and exciting for everyone, as well as planning events and field trips. And speaking of field trips, here are some of the ones we took this past school year. We went to Harrisburg Comic Con, the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, Washington, D.C., as well as Tyson's Corner Mall in Virginia. Our regular meetings alternate between activity and tavern meetings. In activity meetings, we play a club-wide game. For example, this past year, some of the games we played during our activity meetings are Diplomacy, Everyone is John, Quiet Year, Mafia, and of course, many, many more. And we also have tavern meetings, and that's where you can just come hang out, do homework, talk with people, play games in smaller groups, and of course, most importantly, talk about any and all of your favorite fandoms. building, uplifting, and guiding our sisters. Our executive board oversees to make sure we follow our constitution and our mission statement. Building, guiding, and uplifting our sisters mean to you? Um, it means being there for one another, also like building relationships with one another, sisterhood with one another, and also just being there for each other when we don't have like someone there for us. Um, also like just guiding, guiding women on campus to be better to just to always aim higher and achieve higher no matter it's if it's grades or like in the gym or like just any goals they want accomplished in life just any way that they can improve themselves um building uplifting and guiding has so yeah. being a ladybug changed your life um being a ladybug changed my life by just basically like being there for other women on campus and also like uplifting one another um, and also being like a mentor, so like I'm learning like skills about myself and skills about other freshmen and sophomore on campus and like ways I can help them and be a better woman in society. The ladybugs are always accepting new members. All you have to do is pay the 15 or $30 dues. You can be involved by coming to our meetings and events and we're always looking for new members. So come join us.
My name is Jasmine Simpson, and I am the social media coordinator for the Lions Club. The Lions Club has been at FSU for about six years now, and we're an international organization that loves to serve the students and the surrounding community. At our meetings, we discuss upcoming service projects, volunteer opportunities, and we also play a game of Giant Uno, which is always fun because we get to bond together. Last semester, we gave away winter kits to the students, and we gave the remaining to the homeless shelter in Cumberland, Maryland. If you love to volunteer and want to add something of value to your resume, this is the organization to join. You're able to meet wonderful people that help you grow as a person, and scholarship committees love to see that you give back to the community. So please just be on the lookout for our upcoming events and join one of our meetings. Thank you. Bye. NAFME, or the National Association for Music Education, is an organization dedicated to the advocacy for music education. It is so important that we continue to fight for music and our children's education as funding for it continues to be cut all across America. Our chapter here at Frostburg is constantly learning and growing in this area through our involvement with our department, our community, and through the professional development of our members. Here to tell you all about these things is our 2020 executive board, starting with Maggie, talking about who this chapter is for. It's for everyone, music majors, music minors, people with majors who have nothing to do with music, people who don't even consider themselves musicians. If you love music and you find the value in it, come on over to one of our meetings. Because our chapter is open to everyone, we have the numbers to substantially advocate for the value of music education. Just last year, our chapter had the opportunity to assemble at Capitol Hill with other chapters of NAFME, like-minded individuals, and music teachers. We pride ourselves in being a force for change in every single music classroom. NAFME is all about getting people involved in music and so we have big plans, community outreach projects to get into the schools and show kids that music does not have to be your career to stay a part of your life forever, not just in college but your whole life really. Music makes an impact. The goals of the chapter? Well we have a couple. One is to be an advocate of music education, whether that be on Capitol Hill or just in schools helping students realize the importance of music or teachers realize and we also are just helping spread the joy of music to everyone that we can. Now that you've heard a little bit about who we are, feel free to follow our social media pages to keep up with meetings and fun things our chapter is doing. Remember music is for everyone but so is the responsibility of advocating. Come help us make a difference in our children's lives and the future of music education. N A F M E My name is Lyric. I am currently a, will be a senior in the fall. Um, I'm a double major in psychology and law and society with a concentration in criminal justice. And the org I'll be telling you about is my org. I am the, currently the president of NCNW or the National Council of Negro Women. So the National Council of Negro Women, we have been at Frostburg, well, we were chartered at Frostburg September 23rd in 2012. So it'll be eight years this September coming up, but right now it's seven. So basically what our organization is, we basically strive to uplift and empower women of African descent, but it's not limited to just black women. You can be of any race. You can even be a guy and join NCW if you really want. We do a lot of different type of events. So some events that we've done in the past, we've done a field day event where we invited a whole bunch of different orgs on campus and we had a huge kind of, it's kind of like a, a family reunion if you really think about it, but we had a huge event and we had snow cones, we had cotton candy and we also have like a huge water gun fight so it was really really crazy it was a lot of fun and each org has different games for other students to play so that was a lot of fun a lot of people came out to that Some other events that we do on campus we have done calf takeovers we also have movie nights as well we have a movie theater in Frostburg and sometimes we would all go together and we would go to the movies or we might go to one of our sisters houses and we go to them and we just watch a movie so that's just a little bit of what we do and then we have our service events and for our service events we do beautify the bird which is cleaning up Frostburg with our in sisters we do soup kitchens where we just we make food and we serve it to the homeless 
We also do Thanksgiving baskets. So around Thanksgiving time, we get on a van with other students and we just deliver baskets out to the community. Our group is really just about a whole bunch of sisters. Like when you join NCNW, we call you our in sister. Of course, if you're a girl, but we call you our in sister, our in lifelong bonds out of this organization. Like I love these girls. I can go see these girls about anything. I can call these girls at any time of night and they are there, you know? So it's really just like, I feel like I grew up with these girls. Like that's how strong our bond is. So if you're really looking for an organization, so you have real sisters, real friends, lifelong relationships, NCNW is your org. Hello everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm the president of Paparazzi Perfect. Hey y'all, my name is Jenna Canoe and I'm your new VP of Paparazzi Perfect. Hi, my name is Melvin. I am the secretary of Paparazzi Perfect Models. Hey, what's up, Frostberg? My name is Marcel. Walk I'm the modeling me. coordinator for Paparazzi walk Perfect for Modeling walk for Team. Me. Walk for 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 me. My name is Jenna, and I'm studying psychology. Paparazzi Perfect is a theatrical modeling team that includes twisting, choreography, and spinning. We put on a show. And that's on what? Walk for me, walk for me, walk for me, walk for me. That's all it is. Walk for me, 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 walk for me. I started paparazzi when I was a freshman and now I'm a junior. Walk for me, walk for me, walk for me, walk for me. Perform at many events such as Afro Circus, ASA, and our biggest annual show is in the spring, y'all. We bring you poise, elegance, fear. We give you life. We give you energy. Strike a pose. 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 I cannot wait to show you guys what we have in store for next semester because it's gonna be lit. Hi. My name is Brianna. I'm a sophomore and a health science major, and I'm also the vice president of the Pre-Professional Medical Society. Our club's goal is to help you reach your goals. So whether that's becoming a doctor, a veterinarian, a PA, an NP, whatever it may be, we're here for you. <laughs> um, what that involves is we normally have visitors dependent on our members' interest come and talk to us about how they reached their professional goals um, and what working in the profession looks like for them. Um, we also go on trips to different medical schools, PA schools, um, whatever our members are interested in. Uh, we also do volunteering efforts such as Relay for Life, blood drives, um, helping children get interested in STEM, and whatever else we feel like would be a fitting cause for our organization. We meet every other Monday at 5 o'clock, and we'd love to have you join. All you have to do is email me with your name and your Frostberg email. Um, my email is bmstauffer0 at frostberg.edu. Um, we would love to have you there, and it means a lot to be able to meet like-minded people who can help you on your journey through college. Hi, my name is Madison Davis and I am the president of RHA, which is our residence hall association here at Frostburg. At RHA, we are in an on-campus governing body that represents all of the hall councils from each of the halls on campus. You will learn a lot more about those hall councils with your hall directors when we're back on campus. As president, I'm in charge of overseeing and running all of the meetings while working with all of the other executive members, and I'm also the main point of student contact for RHA. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Wheeler. I am the vice president of programming for Frostburg State University's Residence Hall Association, and I focus on our programming and our events. We like to hold a lot of fun events during the year, and most recently we had our laser tag, which was a 
big success and we look forward to continuing that and also we plan on having a s- olympics kind of thing so i hope to see you come out and join us please hi everyone my name is jenna griffith and i'm the vice president of finance i manage rha's budget as well as being the main point of contact for funding packets RHA is a great organization organization to join because you get to vote on events that affect you, as well as voicing your opinions and concerns you may have. RHA members become close to one another, so you're like a family. Hi, my name is Angie Gonzalez, and I'm RHA secretary. I am in charge of taking down attendance and spirit points so that whichever hall has the most points at the end of the semester gets a prize. I also take down important notes. RHA is such a great organization if you're ready to build more confidence and express your opinions. It's a great organization. Come join. Hey guys, so the NCC is in charge of maintaining the RHA competition and the competitions of all the hall councils. And they're also in charge of communicating with other NCCs around the nation. Future and returning Bobcats, the social marketing team focuses on informing the Frostburg State University campus community and creating awareness about social activities, events, and opportunities. You may see our team members snapping photos at campus events, creating the weekly newsletter Spotlight Online, designing graphics, producing videos, posting to social media, or writing articles about student success stories. No matter where you see us around campus, we're always working to keep you informed with reliable and relevant information. To apply for employment or an internship, complete the social marketing team application on Bobcat Connect. For up-to-date information, follow us on Twitter at The Social Bobcat and on Instagram at Frostburg State Life. Stay safe, Bobcats! Hello, my name is Taylor Robinson. I'm the captain of the Stratus Dance Team. I'm also a senior. My major is on society and sociology. The Stratus was founded in 2014. We do a mixture of dances, but our major style is majorette. The purpose of the Stratus is to promote school spirit and also provide entertainment at athletic events. One of our major goals is to create bonds and build a sisterhood among young, strong women. We believe a young, rounded woman can do it all. In order to remain with good standing on the team, you must have a 2.5 GPA. A starter is someone who carries himself with grace and professionalism. It is a round-rounded dancer who exhibits exceptional performances to highlight the art of dance. The definition of a starter would be a fair, strong group of diverse females. If you are wondering, we will be having auditions September 8th if we are in school. Here's a little clip to see what we do. Let's get into the video. The video y'all just watched was from Stroke Comp. Um, our biggest performances is Stroke Comp and Pet Bradley, so we would like to see y'all there. Thank you. Hey there, Bobcats. Welcome to Frostburg State University. My name is Delaney Bluebaugh, and I am the editor-in-chief of The Bottom Line. The Bottom Line is Frostburg State's only independent student news organization on campus. We cover campus news as well as national and international news and have a ton of opportunities if you're interested in working for us. If you're interested in writing, you could be a writer for the entertainment section, which covers performing arts events on campus, our sports section, which covers Frostburg State Athletics, or our news section, which covers campus news as well as national and international news. However, if there is a particular interest that you're especially passionate about, you could also become a columnist for us. If graphic design, photography, or videography are more your style, we also have a few opportunities for you here as well. If you're interested in joining the bottom line, please reach out at dgblueball0 at frostburg.edu. We look forward to working with you and welcome to Frostburg State. Hello, my name is Camille Ben. I'm the president of the Student Head Advisory Committee for the 2020-2021 school year. SHAC has been a small organization on campus for four years now, facilitated by students of all majors and advised by the wonderful nurses of the Brady Health Center. We host health and wellness 
promotion based events like our annual health fair and our Valentine's Day event. And we try to collaborate with other on and off campus organizations in effort to spread as much information as we can. If you're interested in becoming a member of SHAC, email me at kukpu at frostburg.edu. We would love to have you and everyone is welcome to join. We would love seeing you in campus soon. Our social media is at Shaq Frostburg for Twitter and at Shaq underscore Frostburg for Instagram. Follow us. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Culbertson. I am the Senior Event Manager for UPC. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Mason and I am the Assistant Event Coordinator for the University Programming Council. UPC does a lot of different things on campus, but our main thing is bringing the fun to our students. A little bit about us, we're a really small group of individuals who plan events all around campus that range from movie nights to trivia nights, barbecues, stress-free events. So that way we can get our students involved and make sure that our students are actually enjoying the college experience that they deserve. So pretty much anything that you could think of, we can bring to campus. I can't wait to see you guys and congratulations. I hope that you all enjoy your fall semester. If you have any more questions and you would love to know more about um, UPC and um, what we do and how we plan our events, you can reach out to me personally at my email which is kecolbertson0 at frostburg.edu. BC makes me feel confident, genetic, vibrant, ambitious, self-assured, sexy, thick bitch, versatile, courage, <laughs> Sensational. Logetically, me. How to shine in a completely different way. Ready? Ooh. 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 It's big on the 12 of you, eh? Uh, but I shake the room. National Service Fraternity here at Frostburg State University. We are co-ed. My name is Pauline Pascarello and I'm a psychology major with a minor in sociology. Alpha Phi Omega was founded on December 6, 1925 at Lafayette College and finally made its way to Frostburg in 1993. Our three principles are leadership, friendship, and service, and that hints our annual event that we started last year where we were working with Paws Pantry to help poverty in the local area. 
our main focus is service and we serve in the community, we serve at campus, we serve our brothers and our friends and we serve nationwide. We have meetings once a week to discuss our progress and what is coming up and what we can do next. We do fundraising at Lane and around the community for different organizations that are not our own. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask at these two emails that I'm about to say. Alpha Phi Omega at Frostburg State University or P E P A S C A R I E L L O zero at Frostburg.edu. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Caitlin Tilly. I'm a business administration major with a marketing concentration and I'll be a junior this year. I'm also the vice president of public relations and recruitment for the Alpha Sigma Alpha social sorority here on campus. We've been on campus for about 10 years now, and we strive to build women of poison purpose, creating everlasting sisterhood within our organization, as well as having great friendships with FSU's campus and the surrounding Frostburg community. We also work very closely with our national and local philanthropies, including the Special Olympics, Girls on the Run, the Ronald McDonald House, and the Duff Center. We're so excited to meet you, especially in our first few weeks of school in the fall 2020 semester, where we'll be holding recruitment, including the CPC Formal Recruitment Week, where you get to meet the other two sororities on campus, Delta Zeta and Alpha Sigma Tau. We're so excited to meet you. Go Alpha Sig! Hello, class of 2024. Congratulations on committing to Frostburg State University. I am Elmer Oriana, the president of Delta Sigma Pi here at FSU. A little bit about me, I'm from Prince George's County. I'm a rising senior and I'm a double major in Spanish and Business Administration. A little bit about Delta Sigma Pi, also known as DSP, is that we are a professional business fraternity organized to foster the study of business at universities. We have been an official chapter here at Frostburg State since 2007, and our three pillars are brotherhood, service, and professionalism. We hold weekly meetings to discuss campus involvement, community outreach, professional events, and to promote a closer affiliation between the students of commerce and the commercial world. You all will be eligible to join your second semester once you already have 12 credits. Be on the lookout for our recruitment event. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact Bethany Bloom, our senior vice president. And again, congratulations on committing to Frostburg State and hope to see you all in the fall. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a heart, look, there's a heart. A hand to hold on to. Howdy, my name is Stanley Asabola, and I am currently a senior now at Frost State University with a major in business administration and a concentration of marketing. I am the president of IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. IOTA Phi Theta Fraternity is a social service fraternity, um, and our purpose is to spread the development and perpetuation of scholarship, leadership, citizenship, fidelity, and brotherhood amongst men. Um, we was founded September 19th, 1963, at Morgan State College, now known as Morgan State University. But here at Frostburg, the Epsilon Zeta chapter was founded 18 years ago on October 19th, 2002. Some of the things that we do around campus is definitely community service. Um, we do, one of the main things we do is beautify the burg and other local um, community service opportunities that we might get. Um, we do philanthropy, which was which is fundraise for really for life and college and catch cancer. Um, but one of the main things that we do, uh, well, one of the main things that we're known for at Frostburg is hosting the annual show competition every year, which is the, within the first week of March. Um, the show competition is basically a fun time where other orders come out and compete against each other for a grand prize and everybody just come out and have a very great time. Um, but we definitely have like informationals for um, 
people to get a chance to know about us and our org and our history. Um, if you want to know more about us, just follow us on our um, Instagram and Twitter pages um, at EZ IOTAS. E Z IOTAS, the letter E and the letter Z IOTAS. Um, that's our Instagram and our Twitter page. They're the only two pages that we got um, affiliated with us at Crossbird. Um, also, if you want to know more about us, you can just do your own research on Google and everything. But we also host informationals every semester for people to come out and know more about us. Um, I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy from this corona. And I pray that everybody have a very great first fall semester. Thank you. Hello, my name's D'Artagnan Lazar. I'm an incoming junior mechanical engineering student and the president of Kappa Delta Rho at Frostburg State University. I hope everybody is doing well during these unprecedented times. KDR is entering its eighth year at Frostburg. Nationally, we've been around for 115 years, and we are an organization that holds itself accountable to high standards. In addition, we are a social fraternity with five core values that are scholarship, fellowship, leadership, tradition, and service. We have an active alumni base that funds our foundation for scholarship opportunities for brothers that are academically qualified, leadership programming, and a biannual national convention. The National Fraternity of Kappa Delta Rho is the Andrew McDonough B. Positive Foundation, which raises funds for pediatric cancer research and family support. Additionally, Locally, our chapter has held fundraising events for pancreatic cancer research, the Painted Turtle Camp, and the American Cancer Association through Relay for Life. Our chapter participates in several service events each year, including campus, street, and community cleanups, volunteering with the, the city in its annual holiday decorating, and assists the animal shelter with facility maintenance and dog walking. In addition to giving back to the local community, our brotherhood loves to have fun and develop friendships which will last a lifetime. We enjoy getting together for fishing trips, bowling, and cornhole tournaments, among other activities that make the college experience a memorable one. Our brothers are committed to the academic excellence. Before anything else, we are students with the goals of excellence in the classroom and setting ourselves up with the professional success for following graduation. We look forward to meeting you this fall. We have several exciting recruitment events planned, including dodgeball games, a fishing trip, and a game and poker night. For more information and answers to any questions you may have, please reach out to me at dclazar0 at frostburg.edu. Additionally, you can follow us on Instagram at kdratfsu for regular updates and event notifications. Thank you and welcome to Frostburg. Hello everyone, my name is Keegan Wolf and I am president of Find Me Delta. We are a social fraternity here on campus that revolves around three main values, democracy, service, and brotherhood. We chartered in FSU in 2009, but we were founded in 1918, being the first fraternity to not discriminate on color, race, creed, or religion. We hold weekly chapter meetings where we'll go over chapter operations, we will play games, we'll go see a movie at the movie theater, and a lot of other fun things. Uh, we love to do fundraisers for places like St. Jude's Children, Children's Research. Uh, our biggest philanthropy event of the year is our crawfish boil, where we allow all the attendees to pick which charity they want to donate to and enjoy an all-you-can-eat buffet of crawfish and barbecue food. Uh, we hope to see you around in the coming semester. Don't be afraid to say hi, but now I'll introduce you to one more brother, and he will share a little bit more. See ya. Hey guys, my name is Joel Rosinski and I'm a member of Phi Mu Delta. Uh, some events that we're going to be having this semester are going to be Lift with a Brother, Dandrock Cleanups, and Fire Pits. I hope to see you all out there. My name is Michael Hollingsworth. I'm a brother of Pine Lambda Phi fraternity at Frostburg State University. My name is Anthony Farad Jr. My name is Jericho Yance. Hello, my name is Bryce Street. My name is Jacob Seals. My name is Michael Lanes. Hi, my name is Shaq. Hey. My name is Compton. My name is Jershawn Mason. What really made me interested in PyLam is just what we stand for, uh, which is the elimination of prejudice. 
To me, the elimination of prejudice is breaking down barriers and replacing those barriers with connections. We are all about making the world a more connected place. Elimination of prejudice is the foundation of the organization. And we do that with doing service projects such as our EOP talks that we have on sensitive subjects such as are men, can men be sensitive, or speaking about members of the LGBTQ plus community in Greek life. Elimination of prejudice to me means standing up for people who are being judged against based on traits they cannot control of themselves. Elimination prejudice means um, not only a better understanding twixt men, but it means just having equality overall and just being fair to everyone, no matter the skin, the, the gender, the sexuality. None of that really matters. Pylam has also given me the opportunity to be a teacher to the future of our fraternity. Um, I get to teach the new members as they come in. They gave me like a second family, but I know for a fact every single brother they have me and i have them pylam has given me uh, the ability to i guess put myself out there and make connections with people uh, it's given me a way to get involved on campus and give back to my community it has introduced me to some of the best people in the world that i would not have met otherwise and finally it's given me leadership opportunities for example, last semester I was the community service chair and that was a very fulfilling experience being able to lead that fight to get back to the community a little bit. The creed of Highlandify. That all men are created free and equal. That no society of men can flourish unless men of that society are endowed with the opportunities and privileges of freedom. That freedom implies the elimination of prejudice. That the elimination of prejudice means a better understanding to X men. It is incumbent upon me to fight for such freedom, even with my life. That it is incumbent upon me in my personal life to be devoted to the highest standards of honesty and justice. That because my country is dedicated to the highest standards of freedom and justice for all men of all breeds, I hereby pledge allegiance to my country and into its national symbol. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Steven. Uh, my major is Geography, and I am the president of Talkab Epsilon. So I originally rushed to my sophomore year of college, and the chapter was founded in 1962 at Frostburg. So the main organization that we usually raise money for is St. Jude's, and we host this huge event, usually by the end of the spring, where we get everyone together. It's kind of like, we call it a pig roast, and there's so much food there, and if you're over 21, you can drink, but Everyone's there, they um, buy a ticket and all the money and proceeds go to St. Jude's and then everyone's just having a good time eating, having like a couple of drinks and stuff like that. We do when we host chapter meetings between the fraternity and the brothers, we talk about events that we have planned within the following weeks or even months just to try to prepare and um, also events that we're going to have on campus where we're, we're going to partner with either a sorority or another fraternity. It's be hard with everything going on with this quarantine, but hopefully by the time you guys are viewing this, you'll be thinking about rushing your fraternity. And honestly, it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've had such an amazing time with these group of guys, and I've built friendships and brotherhood, and hopefully you guys can be able to do the same. Hi, my name is Oliver Vasquez, and I'm majoring in environmental analysis and planning with a minor in sustainability. I am an associate member of Sigma Tau Gamma. We were founded and recognized on Frostburg as Alpha Tau Alpha in 1920, but became Sig Tau in 1950. One of our philanthropies is Special Olympics. Special Olympics is a global movement of people creating a whole new world of inclusion in a community where every single person is accepted and welcomed. We, we are a courageous group of noble gentlemen who always endeavors forward. So rush Sig Tau. Hi, my name is Vondasia Forbes. I am a senior at Frostburg State University. I am an exercise sports science major and I am the current president of the legendary Lambda Iota chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Our lovely chapter has been on this campus for 41 amazing years. Um, with that being said, we exercise four principles in which our sorority has been founded upon which are scholarships, 
service, sisterhood, and most definitely, finer womanhood. Um, the way we exercise those principles on our campus, um, scholarship. First, we basically hold a bunch of forums to educate the campus on a variety of things. Um, we prioritize um, doing completing assignments and keeping a good mental health throughout a semester and things like that. So that falls under the scholarship category. Service. Um, a couple of times out of each month, we get together to perform some type of service, whether it's on our campus or within the community by picking up trash or going to um, Bell Elementary School to read to the students and things like that, or even appreciate the, t the faculty that are there. Um, sisterhood, within our chapter, we make it a priority to get together and basically bond, <laughs> to say the least, um, support each other, talk to each other, things of that nature. Um, and finer womanhood, basically to lead by example. Um, many members upon many members within our sorority or within our chapter have board positions in other organizations to basically have our foot into different things around campus to basically show that we're more than just this sorority. We have different views. Um, we have members a part of Paparazzi Perfect. We have had members a part of the NAACP. So like a really wide spectrum of things within this campus to show that we care about Frostburg itself and leading by example by showing our true dedication to many things more than just our sorority. So with that being said, welcome to our campus if you are new and welcome back if you aren't. This is the Org Fair virtually.